What's up everyone, it's Stepano here. Um, today I, I ran into a program and I wanted to kind of just give a small guide about how it works. It seems to be really, really cool. In this league, we seem to have a lot of time to get, uh, you know, play with our path of buildings, experiment, try to make our builds better. Um, so I thought that this video would be helpful. helpful. So I'm gonna try to give a full on tutorial of how to use this program. So if you have Google search up, you can go POV item tester. And this should come up. If that doesn't come up, you can add GitHub as a keyword to it. It's volatile plus POV item tester. And just so you guys know how I found this is I looked up another website. It was POV cool dev tools, I think. On, on GitHub. See if I can find this one because awesome POE. Yep, this one. So this is a really, really cool website. It has um website API client notes. Oh, right here. So you have build planners, path of building, which we all use. It shows what is outdated, what, what is outdated as of last league. It shows leveling over guide, a bunch of different sources for that leveling. You have POE trade macro, which is a really useful link. Just seems to kind of keep an eye on all the programs that people may or may not want to use. Um, seems like a decent community. So I just wanted to point that out. I will link, I will keep a link of all of these in the description so you guys can see. So POE item search GitHub. Oh, item tester so if you quickly look at this it says you usually just click the green code and you just download so we're going to go ahead and do that but it also says if right here it says requirements you're going to need auto hockey which i already have installed and you're going to need path of building community fork which you should have but if you don't have these two things it should you should have them You could um, click right up here for your downloads and you can open it up and you can extract the file here or you can open it and you can extract it. Um, that's what I have done already. And if I go to my desktop, I put everything that I'm using here. We have the path of building here and POE item tester. There was a third program, which I found on the tools dev page. And it's like associated with weighted search. Oh, it's like weighted source. So the, I mean, if you don't want to use the program, I believe you can use this website. Um, and there's also uh, analog version of that website so like you can do it on your computer locally i have not tested with that and it seems a lot more complicated but this is a this is a way to do it without installing anything on your computer i believe all right so when you download this click here you bring this up you extract it and then um it will give you a folder like this item tester you're gonna to want to open up the AHK, and I believe I have it open already, so I'm gonna exit it. I'm just gonna double click it to show you guys it opens up. So it's gonna want you to choose a character, so you just choose any character you have. It will be item tester loaded. Sometimes. It might be easier if you open path of building first, but I didn't open path of building and that's why it wanted me to choose a character. So today I'm going to do an elemental hit build and pretty, uh, pretty standard. And what, what you're going to need to do is if you make any changes or anything, you're going to want to save your POB. I'm gonna save it as sushi. I can't because it's already saved as sushi, so I'm just gonna save it. I'm gonna hit my Windows key and I'm gonna come down to the bottom. 
I'm going to right click to the HK and I'm going to say generate G DPS search. I'm going to choose the character. And boom. Sushi is the one I saved it as. We just double click that and we push OK. And over here we're having it generate all the data for that analog website that we could use manually but it's doing it automatically for us there's a lot of information on here but we're going to go to um flags we're going to kind of go through here it looks like he has power charges frenzies we're going to kind of make sure that everything looks correct um and we're going to look for all jewels and we're going to generate and it's going to create the search right here and it's putting all these values next to it and we're going to hit search it's going to bring us into path of exile trade and you got to be logged on if you're not logged on this will not work when you do see that you have over a thousand jewels or ten thousand jewels you're going to want to go to your filter and you're going to want to up this number so you're just going to try you're going to first go lower this number because if it's a negative number we're just going to keep adding to that and see if this uh we want to limit our search That didn't seem to do anything, so we're gonna add numbers to it. All right, so what has happened here, I believe, and this is a good demonstration just to show, we're gonna look at his elemental hit, and what he has on his elemental hit is he has Mirage Archer, Mirage Archer is technically a minion, so we're going to delete this gem and we're going to save our POB again. We're going to close out of this search and we're going to close out of this search. We're going to just try this one more time and see if it comes up a little bit easier. And you know, this is the type of stuff that you're going to have to deal with, so if we can make it work this time, it'd be really, really good. We're gonna look through the flags. We're not gonna check anything. Um, we're gonna generate our query. This time we have a lot less mods and it makes me believe that we're in a much better position than we were last time. Now we're seeing jewels that make more sense and the number is positive. I think if you have a negative value, you can already assume that you did something wrong. So I'm going to change this 5 to a 10. It was just the 5 I added. I doubled it. And now we're going to see if our query is still too little. So I'm going to actually double. I'm going to change the 5 to a 50. I'm really increasing this value at the top. Fortunately, that was too much. So now we know that. All right, so now we have only 362 jewels to choose from. And there's a weird value at the bottom that says sum. But what happens if we click it? So it looks like we have one, uh, one problem with this. It is it would, elemental hit is a melee skill and I didn't uncheck the melee so if I go back to my mod and I go to my flags and I unclick the melee because elemental hit is a melee skill so you have to kind of keep an eye and you see five mods were limited so I could either go back to my switch search query and I can go to the show filter and delete those mods or I can just redo it so I'm going to research it the value we chose up here is 25. So we're just going to go a little bit lower on that. We're going to change the 5 to like a 20 on this in this case. We're going to search. And 
I'm just gonna tell you guys, if you use this to flip like someone like Jung Rong's, like take his POB and flip his jewels, I won't have a problem with it. Just gonna put that out there. So we have a, a thousand total jewels. And if we look offline, this is a pretty nice jewel. We look offline, maybe we can find some better jewels. So this is a quad multi jewel. You can see the cheap uh the most expensive jewel that or the, the best jewel that's out is 39x. However, this jewel and this jewel are not too different from each other other than the divine. So if you divine a little bit better. Possibly, um, this jewel could be as good as this one, maybe. You just gotta kinda look at it, but you can see obviously quad multi is the best jewel for elemental hit. But maybe if we search down, once we scroll down a little bit, maybe someone mispriced something. Elemental hit is a little challenging to find a really, really good jewel for. But then you can register your current trade if you have better trading as PIS elemental hit jewels. Then you never have to do this with the program again. And just to give you guys an example for the current build I'm running, I have an abyss search. If you guys want to use this search yourself. The If you ever just are watching a video, you just have to copy those characters at the top. And it is case sensitive. There's only nine online so if I go offline too maybe there's 73 to, to choose from and the best ones are these and you can see what the most DPS for my build would be and this makes sense you know tier one tier one multi tier one attack speed and two tier two rolls for 2x like this is unbeatable if if he was online I would probably buy this So yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. If you have questions, you can come to the stream if something's not working out on the program and I can try to debug it for you or you can just ask in the comments below. And sorry for the slow explanation, but I just wanted to make sure to go over every, every part I had. Um, thank you guys for tuning in and make sure to hit the follow button.